Welcome to Parmi here at the IPC Apex Expo. I'm joined by John Bash, who's the Eastern Regional Sales Manager. Nice to see you, John. Oh, nice to see you. Okay. So we're standing in front of a really quite exciting machine. It's quite unique because it contains three functions in one. It's an SPI, it's a 2D, 3D, AOI, and a conformal coding inspector, right? So that's quite incredible. Yeah, that's right, Trevor. This is the Exceed MP. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-purpose platform. Okay. S the 3D SPI ins uh, inspection, 2D and 3D AOI inspection, and the option to have conformal coding inspection, all in one standard platform. Right. So, so for basically for a small shop or a small to medium shop, I mean, this is an ideal solution here, really. Absolutely. If you're operating in a batch mode, doing inspection offline, yep. the customer can load in printed boards, do the SPI inspection offline, load the boards into the line, assemble them, solder them, bring them back to the inspection system, switch to AI, AOI mode, inspect the boards, and then they've got a complete inspection capability all in one platform at a reduced cost. Brilliant. So, uh, I believe um, you're using a, a, a fairly unique system. You're using a laser triangular uh, triangulation system which acts as a line scanner, is that correct? That's correct, yes. We're actually, on the, on the head assembly, we have two opposing lasers mm -hmm. mounted at an angle to a vertical uh, downward viewing camera, mm -hmm. and the camera is viewing the uh, variation in the scan lines based on geometry and trigonometry. We're able to calculate the heights and shapes of the features we're inspecting. So it's a very fast system, very simple system. There's no moving parts. Uh, and we do all the image calculations and uh, measurement data calculations in the scan head with a custom CMOS chip. Similar to the chips that are used in Hollywood for very high speed cameras. Mm -hmm. For example, to see a bullet traveling through an apple. It's so running at an extremely high frame rate. So we're able to make those calculations on the fly and do it uh, very quickly. Yeah, that's quite incredible. It's a very short travel uh, rate, uh, basically, to the top of the camera there uh, exactly. to, to uh, make these uh, calculations. What's the resolution of the, the system? Well, this, this standard AOI system is set up at 14 by 14 micron resolution. Mm -hmm. We also have options to go to smaller, uh, higher resolutions for semiconductor applications. We can go in a little bit lower resolution also to offer it at a reduced cost. So it's obviously it's an inline machine. It's got a fairly. It looks like it can accommodate a fairly uh, large board size. What, what, what sort of board size do you go up to? We have uh, four or five different models. So we start out with a 480 by 350 millimeter board size, mm -hmm. and then we are going up in size from that up to 1.2 meter by 450 millimeter large LED boards. So the customer can scale the machine to whatever size they like. Mm -hmm. So. Let's talk a little bit about the conformal coding side mm -hmm. um, and, and how that works. Right. Uh, can you explain that to me? Sure. In this particular case, if your customer desires to have the conformal coding option, mm -hmm. then what we do in this uh, ring light assembly in the head, we would remove one ring, one row of LEDs, mm -hmm. center LEDs from the lighting, and replace them with UV lighting LEDs okay. so that we can illuminate the board and look for coverage. And so the customer could activate or deactivate that function by software. So, so it's, it's looking, it's measuring the the, the coverage of the board. Uh, and what about the thickness of the of the uh, coating? Yes, that's also checked. It's all in one operation. So that's a very versatile machine. <laughs> I can tell you. Um, and another point I wanted to make was, not not just the small shops. There's uh, interest in large accounts with large contract manufacturers, where they look at deployment of assets around their various factories, various locations in the world. If you can have one single platform that's multifunction, then it simplifies their logistics in terms of deployment of their assets. The machines can be used interchangeably in the, wherever they want in the line, and yep. whatever factory they want. They just have to know how many machines they need and where they need them. Yeah, and it's much smaller footprint, of course. Yeah, so it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, John, uh, thank you for showing this to us. Uh, it's called the Exceed, uh, Exceed the Parmi. Multi-purpose. Yes. Multi -purpose. Mm -hmm. Thanks for showing it to us and uh, we wish you every success with it.